All right, we're going to go ahead and start recording so we can get a good idea of how to sort and filter the best players here for cash today, starting with the using DraftKings, that is, the DraftKings value. You can just make sure you want to, I have one actually already set there. We can just do as an option as well, above average, if you don't want to go by every specific number for shots on goal and plus block shots. Of course, it's a great peripheral number to sort by. Number filter greater than 2.9. Also, you can come over here to take something out of the last 10 games. Let's say, well, actually, there's already one set there. DraftKings average or the site you're playing on, FanDuel. So we can do greater than, let's say, already set at 4.9. Uh, that's fine. And then moving on here, this here, to explain it really quick, is the DraftKings 20 games or L20 or last 10 or last 5. Uh, I don't currently have one set here, so let's see how much of a difference it'll make as we have about, oh, I would say, close to 20 players here. Um, we could leave it at that as far as that, but really, uh, we want to use this as well. Um, so the smaller the slate is, the less players that will come out here. The larger the slate, obviously, the more players that will come out with this round of players. So number of filters. Greater than, I like to go greater than 49% here. So we can get at least that 50%, you know, uh, whether that is the average or not of the players. We're just, we just eliminated a few players that are not consistently getting, um, just simply not as consistently getting four points per game on DraftKings specifically. So there we got it narrowed down. We could run with this pool of players, should have about nine. Or so there are 12 players. I'm sure exactly right there. I'm going to go ahead and now show you also the goalies, how to attack this. Because I haven't shown this specifically as well before. You can go um, most importantly here. Let's say uh, really we don't want uh, text filters equals. We don't want away games. So we're going to go versus to take out the away games. So we can get a goalie at home. That would be great. All right, so we got that, and then uh, this obviously won't come bring back a whole lot of uh, goalies. We want a, a decent win chance, so let's go above average. All right, right there. Uh, they may not have eliminated anyone, but that's okay. If, any, if everyone's got a chance, or a decent chance to win, you could take out. You can uh, set it more specifically, of course, to take out the ones that are only projected at forty percent. So let's say greater than 44%. Okay. And then looking over here, depends on whether you're playing cash or tournament. Let's say we are playing tournament right here. So our projection, our projections models right here, uh, shots on goal against, we want to get at least, let's say, 30. So 29.9, greater than 29.9. So then we eliminate. We're down to three goalies that will get enough upside because they'll face enough shots on goal against to get some blocks. So we also got a save percentage we could look at and observe. Of course, the value like the other one as well uh, with the skaters. So we ended up with um, Delia, Frolomolov, or Martin Jones. Frolomolov, I believe, had a shutout last night. Delia had a not-so-good game. Uh, even though the value is there because he's cheaper, but he didn't, he, he blew up. Uh, and the reason here uh, likely is just he had a lot of uh, shots on goal against, was playing against a decent team in Ottawa, and um, that's what happens sometimes. So then you got Martin Jones that turned out to be a solid play last night as well. So that's how you look at that and uh, set, filter, and sort out your best cash options for the day for skaters and goalies. Take care.